So I'm drawing a line using an equation. There are two ways of doing this. Either you can recall the equation of a straight line and understand that the gradient of 3 and also the y-intercept is 5 and therefore when you are drawing the line on a set of axes that if you know that the intercept is at 5 and the gradient is 3 so that just means that for every one you go across you're going up 1, 2, 3 and you can therefore draw in your straight line obviously you'll be able to do that with a ruler so that's one way you can do it the other way is by using a table of values now it might well be that the teacher has asked you to maybe consider using some negatives and the reason that they will ask you to do that is just so that you can practice your substitution with negative numbers. Now, it's good to practice your negative numbers, but it's also possible to plot that straight line with using some easier numbers as well. Now, we only need two points to draw a straight line, but a third is useful just to make sure that a mistake hasn't been made. Zero is always useful. Let's have one and two. And so all that's going to happen is that when we have the x value of zero, because that's what our table is for, we're just going to put that into the equation. So we have y is equal to... 3 multiplied by 0 because when I've got the number next to the letter it just means multiply and then adding 5 3 plus 0 is 0, add 5 so y is equal to 5 so when x is 0, y is 5 you can do the same using the equation so it's 3 lots of 1 this time because we've used the 1 and then adding 5 so that means we have 3 plus 5 is 8 put that in the table 8 and lastly we have the x is 2 which we can then put into the equation so we've got y is equal to 3 lots of 2 add the 5 3 to 2 is 6, add the 5, 11. So the final one is 11. So therefore, we now have three coordinates that we can use. We have when x is 0, y is 5. So we can plot 0, 5. We have when x is 1, y is 8. So we have the coordinate 1, 8. And then we have when x is 2, y is 11. And I've got a third coordinate. So those three coordinates can be plotted onto the set of axes, join them up with a straight line, and there you are.